Hello everybody, my name is Bob, and uh, we're playing Kerbal Space Program. Um, this, is, uh, this is not uh, really the, the object of our, of our explorations and building today. Um, what I'm going to do, which is something I often do, uh, is I'm going to uh, build a, uh, a shuttle to Minmus as part of a perhaps expanding um, infrastructure, space infrastructure system. Uh, and this is one of the components of the, sh of the uh, shuttle, which is like the jet component. So in, in, in idealized terms, this helps lift the uh, shuttle up and then it returns to Earth. Now, of course, I can't control this after I let it go. Uh, uh, I could control it, but I couldn't continue to control my shuttle if that were the case. So this is just to, um, to show you that this part does fly and does land, albeit not very well. And absolute blackness. All right. And and here we go. Uh, let's get some sunshine. Here comes the sun. Oop. Okay. Throttle to maximum. SAS on. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> In a perfect world, this would come back without it, without much fuel in it, so this would not be uh, quite as heavy as it as it is now. Come on, you can do it. And brakes. All right, so you can see this part flies and lands. It just as, as because uh, it, it's. Uh, la, 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 la. Let me put it this way: this this would be a reusable shuttle, or mostly reusable shuttle, if I could fly these parts back. So I'm going to treat it as if it were a reusable re reusable shuttle. Okay, this is the minimum shuttle. Uh, you see, the part we just flew is this part right here, and is there another one on top? So basically, the idea is um, uh, the uh, the jets get this thing going. Um, fast uh, and then uh, when the uh, jets kick out uh, then um, there are solid rocket boosters here which will hopefully do most of the work to get the um, the uh, craft in into orbit uh, and that is really the uh, the part of it that I'm most concerned about is is uh, going from uh, the jets in the atmosphere to actually get into orbit because I've just got two nuclear engines down here which is fine for uh, landing on Minimus but it may not be fine for getting the rest of the way into orbit so, uh, that part I don't know about. I also have some, uh, some infrastructure already in place. Uh, this is the um, uh, Minimus Mining uh, search, search Probe. The probing, the probing the search of the, uh, of the resources, yeah. Uh, so that's what that does, and that is in a fairly uh, high polar orbit. And uh, there's also the um, uh, relay satellite. Which is here is just just to do act as a relay. That's all it is. And there is also a base for them to arrive uh, uh, arrive at. This is the base which they will be arriving at, uh, and it has the uh, capabilities of refueling uh, the uh, shuttle once it uh, gets here. Let me. Uh, Turn some lights on or something. I don't know why that is. That's that's annoying as hell. Uh, but anyway, uh, so you can see better what what's what's going on here. It's got do docking ports here and here, and docking ports here and here. I got I got a, one of my minimus that minimus spiders on there. It's like a flying rover, and then the um, uh, the shuttle will dock here, and uh, these ports are for the um, for the uh, miner. That's actually re uh, mining resources on minimus. Uh, and flying it over here and uh, moving the uh, resources onto the uh, into the uh, resource tank there for processing. So that is the base. And it's got two little ha or it have mods and two um, of these Kepula modules on them. Uh, 
And here is the uh, miner, um, which has a, hop, a tendency to hop around when you when you switch to it. Let's see. Hopefully, it's not going to hop anywhere I doesn't want to go. Okay, there we go. Oh, nope, it's hopping. It's hopping. It's it loves to hop. I don't know why. But it's back down now. There we go. Okay, stop. Thank you. Okay, as, as you see here, there are two miners on it. Uh, and there is uh, storage for the uh, ore. There's no processing on board because it's just going to fly it to the base that has a processor on it. So basically, it's just, it's just uh, shuttling the ore. And that's pretty much it. Okay, the uh, the crew on this perhaps ill-fated uh, first flight of the Minimus shuttle. Uh, Milo Kerman, pilot. Summer Kerman, pilot. Uh, Tribit Kerman, engineer. And Stahl Kerman, scientist. They're just along for the ride. Well, the engineer, I suppose, could do something, but the scientist just along for the ride. Uh, there's some uncertainty about the launch process. Um... So that could be a thing, uh, but mostly I'm, what I'm worried about is, will it have enough velocity to get to orbit once these things drop off? So that's mostly what I'm worried about. Okay, yeah. Let me check my staging right quick. These are all the jet engines, yeah. There's one solid rocket booster that will fire when the uh, these things decouple. Uh, that that jettisons the uh, solid rocket underneath it. That's the nuclear engines. Uh, that decouples the flying, the flying parts. Yeah, the jet engine parts. Uh, and uh, those are the boosters to get it the rest of the way to, to orbit. Hopefully, not necessarily, but hopefully. Okay. Throttle to maximum. SAS is on. Jet engine start. In three, two, one. And lift off. Whoop. That was a little bit of a bubble. Solid rocket jettison. Sorry to lose some velocity. Oh, let's turn on the nuclear engines. Oh, no. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I don't know what that was, but we're going to assume that was uh, all good. There we go. A little bit of lag. Uh, okay. Well, we got some problems. Uh, lack of stability now. Significant lack of stability. And three, two, one, jet engine start. And 
lift off. Oh, nope, still I still got bumps. Oh, they are terrified. <laughs> and rightly so. They are terrified and rightly so. Okay, let's restart that. Throttle to maximum. SAS on. Jet engine start. And lift off. No, 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 no. Okay, well, clearly those have got to go somewhere else. Oh, they are so, so frightened. Okay, uh, this time I've moved those launch pad things, whatever the hell they're called, totally out of the way. So underneath it's all free, free and breezy. Yes, free and breezy. Of course it is. You betcha, Milo and Summer Kerman. It's absolutely guaranteed to not screw up. Right? Right. All right, throttle to maximum. SAS on. Uh, jet engine start. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Okay. Okay, now we're going to launch this sub bitch virtually vertically. So hopefully that should keep it from running into stuff, but I don't know. Anything could happen. Right, Milo? Right, Summer? Yeah. You're saying, I know I can survive the way it crashed last time, but will I survive the way it crashes this time? That I don't know. All right. Uh, throttle to maximum, SAS on. Uh, jet engine start. And lift off. And why are these not firing? Once more, throttle to maximum, SAS on. Jet engine start. And lift off. Okay, not so good. They died that time. They died for sure that time. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have those two boosters on the sides. Okay. Okay, eighth time is a charm. Throttle to maximum. SAS on. Jet engine start. And lift off. Okay, uh, my frame rate started really chugging a fatty, uh, so um, I had to stop. Uh, uh, and um, since we're restarting, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put uh, larger boosters, uh, expendable boosters on. Uh, so we're still, we're kind of contaminating the purity of our re renewable, recyclable, uh, reusable, reusable design. I'm, I'm, I must be having a, like a, a stroke or Alzheimer's or something, man. I can't remember my words. Um, anyway. Uh, where we I put some more um, fuel tanks on there, uh, and we'll try it again. I, I'm, the frame rate's dropping right now. It's re it's recording. God damn it! 
Okay, clearly using um, uh, fraps with KSP, uh, KSP with this n large of a part size is not working too well. Uh, so we're going to try it one more time, and if that doesn't work, we'll have to come back and, and try something else on a later episode. Okay, trying it one more time. Frame rate's pretty sucky, but we'll see. Uh, throttle to maximum. SAS on. Jet engine start. And lift off. Okay, frame rate is starting to suck. Alright. Na 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 na. Na. Contain yourself. Real serious stability issues. Really wants to roll. It wants to roll, but that's not how we roll. Okay, good news is we got into orbit. Bad news is I don't think we have enough uh, fuel to get to Minimus. Um, so I'm going to actually rethink my uh, my sort of first stage, my primary propulsion. Um, but while we're up here, we could go ahead and test one more thing. Which is we can test uh, how it uh, how it uh, crashes. I mean, lands on <laughs> on the runway. Yeah, we can test how it re-enters and, and uh, lands and or crashes. Okay, let's get uh, tilted uh, retrograde. We'll try it right there. And let's get tilted right side up. And let's get going nose first. I'm carrying a little bit of fuel on with me, but it shouldn't matter. I've, uh, I've tested this thing with much more fuel in it, landing it, so it should be fine. I forget what uh, set that up uh, to in the uh, in the action group, but I guess uh, I can figure it out. I am kind of wondering if I'm starting to get like Alzheimer's or something, uh, but I haven't noticed it before today. So maybe it's just I just started getting Alzheimer's today. Uh, uh, nope. Oh, it's 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 giving me issues. Oh, we got Jebediah and Bill in this one. They swapped crews on me.
well, they're they're more properly test pilots anyway, and it turned out turned out to be a test pilot type mission anyway. So good for them. Unless they die, and then it won't be so good for them. Okay, we're starting to get re-entry heating. Now, once I, once you finish with the re-entry heating, I'm gonna have to turn the engines all back on again because we're gonna wind up sh falling short of the runway. Oh no, we're going. We are, we're gonna overshoot the, the runway. What the hell happened there? Let's see. Can we make it to the alternate strip? I don't think so. All right, we're going to have to try some uh, gravity turns here. Oh, come on. Stay under control. Oh, come on. Oh, control. Oh, wow. Okay. Not really wanting to be under control. Not at all. All right, come on, settle down. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is going to be a little iffy. <coughs> Passengers, this is your captain speaking. We may do a little splashdown in the um, ocean. I know this is not part of the plan, but uh, we just need to deal with that. Yeah. Jebediah is okay with it. Well, even though these nuclear engines aren't going to do a whole lot in the air, uh, they, they at least can give me some forward momentum that I can maybe parlay into landing back at the Space Center. Maybe. Might as well use that while we got it. That's a landing motor. I'm very dubious about us getting back to the Space Center. Standing by on uh, brakes, air brakes. Is 
Danny Brown, full breaks. All right, success. Well, it will land from orbit. That's good. We know we know that. Next time, I'm going to have to reconsider um, what I'm going to use as my my primary way of getting through the atmosphere uh, because the uh, the jet things don't work too well. Um, but uh, until next time, hasta la vista. Adios.